What is going on everyone, Invigum1 here, or you may be watching this on uh, my friend's channel called The Variety Channel if he wants to do a collaboration because I'm going to be doing some kind of content today that he specializes in, and that is we're going to be taking a trip to Beachman Park, which is uh, an amusement park in Bowling Green, Kentucky, about an hour and 20 minutes from my house here in Nashville. Um, it's a pretty small place, it has three roller coasters, several flat rides, and also a water park that's included with admission. Um, I think it'll be too cold to uh, do the water park today, but... I'm prepared to do it just in case it warms up or for some reason. But uh, we're going to get on the road here pretty soon. I'll uh, film the rides, give some give some of my thoughts on the rides, and uh, we'll see you there. All right, everyone. We have arrived at Beachfront Park. We made a quick pit stop at uh, McDonald's to uh, fuel up real quick. So uh, here's the parking lot. Much smaller than Hollow of the World. It's mostly green. It actually, it's really pretty. Pretty than I remember. Um, see some of the rides over there? We have the swinging ship. Flying Bobs, Drop Tower, and then if you look back there, you can see some of Kentucky Rumbler's track, which is the uh, Great Coasters International Woody here. So, uh, we'll keep you up Alright guys, we are approaching Kentucky Rumbler for the first ride of the day. It is pretty much the only ride here that's unique or good in any way, besides like some of the flat rides are kind of cool. Here's Whitewater Express, which they said outside that it's closed for the day, but I do see people riding it. And uh, here's Kentucky Rumbler. I'll do a queue walkthrough real quick. Yeah, no, there's people on it. I don't understand. Gosh, that looks so fun. That looks fun. I'm doing this one. Yeah, I'm doing this one. Yeah, I'm doing this one. Yeah, I'm doing this one. This ride has zero theming whatsoever. Um, it's 96 feet high. Um, Millennium Flyer trains. Your standard GCI. I'd compare it to Thunderhead. It's very similar to Thunderhead at Dollywood. Just uh, not as well taken care of. Here's some switchbacks so that we're just going to skip. Left turn. There's the uh, some kind of shed where they keep the maintenance. There's the chain going. And here's the station. All right, the Kentucky Rumbler has just been successfully conquered. Here it is. The uh, exit line is really cool. The track goes right by it. I can get some cool off-ride shots right here. Um, there's the station. Got a little pre-lift section right there. It was actually really, really fun. I hit my elbow on the side of the train. The new Millennium Flyers are not as good as the old Millennium Flyers. But um, it was quite intense. There's one like, really cool section of sustained ejector. It is better than I remember, and I cannot wait to get more rides on it for the rest of the day. For right now, we're gonna go check out the log phone. So, yeah. All right, we are here at Vortex, which is the uh, pendulum ride of the park. It is the exact same model of ride that broke the park to the Ohio State Fair. It's only at least one, I think, exact number. I've been those before, I survived. And uh, probably the scariest ride in the park. So, we'll uh, see how it goes. We survived the vortex. Uh, pretty intense. There was someone right sitting right next to my sister who was about to puke the entire time, so that was not very pleasant. Um, we used the bathroom. It's like a rumbler over there. Uh, I think, I guess next. We'll go on the uh, Spinning Outride, which is the uh, SBF Visa Spinning Coaster of the Park, new like two years ago. Not the best. Uh, way worse than the other Spinning Coaster here, which is the Wild Mouse. But uh, we'll go get it done. And uh, probably gonna take a break from vlogging for a while, so I'll update you guys later. We just rode Beach Ben's Haunted House. I was gonna take a POV, but he took uh, all of our like, loose articles for some reason. Uh, other rides don't even have that streak of a thing. It was pretty good, um, pretty cheesy. A lot of loud pops, that's its main fear tactic. So we're in the back half of the park now. Um, we're gonna go ride the Wild Mouse over there. Here's their uh, new for 20, is it 2016 or 2017 new uh, water slide complex? And it looks really, really good. I'm gonna go on it for the first time today. It's honestly one of like the highlights of the park now is these new water slides. But uh, for right now, we're gonna head over to uh, Wild Mouse. There's Scat 2. Uh, a lot of people hate that ride. Never been on it, never will. Um, not my kind of thing. So Wild Mouse, it's a uh, installed in 2005, it's a Zamperla, 
uh, Spinning Wild Mouse. These, it's the uh, exact same ride if you've been on a Primeval Whirl at Disney's Animal Kingdom. The exact same thing. So we'll go uh, check it out real quick. There's pretty much no one here today, as every time. I don't think I've ever had to wait in line for any ride here besides like the Vortex, which you saw earlier. Wild Mouse especially, never a line. So here's the back entrance, back entrance to the water park over there. A whole bunch of kiddie rides. This is kind of their secondary kiddie area. And is there anyone at Wild Mouse? I don't even see an operator. And sorry, no, it appears to be closed. So we have come here and spent $37 a person, more than Holiday World, to have one of their largest roller coasters closed. So that's really good. Um, yeah. Well, that was really fun. I went on the, uh, so far, the green and the purple one. The purple one being my favorite. It has this uh, giant bully spin around in. I was caught off guard by that big drop you see there. So that was fun. So uh, my sister's going to go on some now, and then I will uh, go on blue and orange. Orange looks fun. It has that little like, hang time wall. But overall, a great sl slide complex. Great addition to Beach Bend. If only they could get another coaster as well. We just rode the Sea Dragon, which is your pretty standard uh, pirate ship style ride, but it is the best one of its kind I've ever been on. I've been on quite a few of these style rides, um, most recently the one at Holiday World, and this that one just can't compare. The amount of floater airtime you get on this is absolutely ridiculous. Um, it swings higher than anyone I've ever been on. And fun fact, it's Michael Jackson's. He owned this one in his house, uh, and it was brought here in 2009. So Michael Jackson rode this at his own house countless times. And it is the second best ride here at Beach Bend besides the Kentucky Rumbler, which we're going to go uh, get some more laps on right now before we get some lunch. We just rode the Kentucky Rumbler again, eating some lunch now at the Rumbler Cafe. I gotta be honest, that second ride we went on was not good at all. We were in the second row instead of the back row, and it was so much rougher. The amount of jack hammering at the bottom of the first drop was insane. I could not get my hands up. It hurt so bad. So they really need to get GCI out here, do some retracking, because I don't think a single wood, a single piece of wood has been replaced on this ride since 2006. So yeah, we'll uh, go ride a couple more times after we eat and uh, try a couple different rows. But so far, back row much better than the front. Just went for our third ride on the Kentucky Rumbler. Not as bad as the second ride. We went back row again. Back row is definitely smoother than the front for some reason, but that. Um, the section after the drop and uh, subsequent transitions is one of the roughest elements I've ever experienced on any coaster. The only thing I think that comes close to the roughness would be uh, a couple moments on the Legend at Holiday World. But uh, I'm gonna get some off-ride footage right now. The sky's really bright, so it's gonna be kind of hard to see. But uh, they're loading up a train right now. So we'll, uh, we'll watch that happen. They just got to all clear, so they'll be out of here in just a second. Breaking news, the drop tower has stopped at the top. This is not one of those drop towers where it does that on purpose. It uh, is one of those Larson drop towers uh, where it immediately drops once it gets to the top. So they are sitting up there 
freaking out, 140 feet in the air. Uh, it's moving, it's moving. Yay, there they go. Poor people, they had a nice 20 second freak out of there. That is going to conclude it for our day here at Beach Bend. We got, uh, at least I got six rides on the Kentucky Rumbler, uh, three on Michael Jackson's uh, Sea Dragon, one on Spinning Out, zero on Wild Mouse, unfortunately it was closed. And um, a lot of good rides on the water slides, which I really enjoyed. But we've been here for a while, getting kind of tired, kind of exhausted our resources of things to do. So we're gonna head out, and uh, it's been a great day here at Beach Bend.